All right. Tutorial question six. A tank has a volume of zero point seven meter cube and contains two point five mole of helium gas at ten degrees Celsius. If helium behaves like ideal gas, calculate the total translational kinetic energy of the molecule of the gas. Okay, so first of all, uh, what do we have here? We have the volume. Okay, we have the volume. We have the number of mole. Uh, helium gas. Helium gas is a monoatomic gas. Uh, that means this one has F degree freedom, only 3. Okay, for helium gas, monoatomic. And we have the temperature, 10 degrees Celsius. Now, um, the question A asks for translational. Okay, only the translational part of kinetic energy. That means this one only uh, 3 degree freedom. You want only the translational part of kinetic energy. Uh, of the molecule of the gas. Okay, this one not just one molecule, but the whole gas. So the whole gas got n molecules. Yeah, n molecules uh, or n moles of gas. Yeah, n moles. So I give moles. So later we will use mole. So this one has many, many molecules. Yeah, not just one molecule. So, want to find the kinetic energy, uh, only the translational kinetic energy. So, okay, what information given? So, I have listed, listed down the volume, okay, volume in meter cube, so SI unit, okay, good. Uh, the number of mole, 2.5 mole. Helium gas, helium is a monoatomic gas. A monoatomic, that means uh, uh, the F will be maximum at Okay, if uh, monoatomic, the F is maximum at 3 only. Yeah, the degree of freedom is only maximum at 3. Uh, temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Degree Celsius, you must change to Kelvin. This chapter, all the temperature must change to absolute temperature, Kelvin. Yeah, must all, all the temperature must change to Kelvin. Okay, before you continue. So change to Kelvin uh, plus 273, degrees Celsius plus 273, you get uh, 283 Kelvin. Now calculate the total translational kinetic energy of the gas. So first of all, okay, I have uh, written down here, you ask for the translational kinetic. Translational kinetic, the F is maximum at 3. Uh, luckily, we use uh, helium. Helium, no matter what, monoatomic okay helium uh, monoatomic is always uh, f is degree of freedom is only three but uh, he asked for translational so f is still three so imagine if this question he don't use the helium gas but if we use let's say like the hydrogen gas or carbon dioxide gas uh, those diatomic and polyatomic gas uh, where the degree of freedom is more than three like Diatomic, like, like the hydrogen, the F is equal to 5. Carbon dioxide, polyatomic, the degree of freedom is equal to 6. Yeah, F equal to 6. This one F equal to 5. This one F equal to 6. But if the question asks for only the translational kinetic energy, you still have to put 3. Yeah, for degree of freedom. Uh, so uh, that means if, uh, if let's say the, like, if, if the question don't give you the helium, but instead it give you the hydrogen. I know the maximum degree of freedom is 5 for hydrogen. For carbon dioxide, F is equal to 6. But if the question asks for only the translational kinetic energy, so automatically the F is only 3. Because translational part of kinetic energy only has 3 degree freedom. Uh, so don't use 5, don't use 6 even if it is a diatomic or polyatomic gas. Uh, so, F is only 3 if it asks only the translational kinetic energy. The next thing is, uh, it asks for the gas, uh, kinetic energy of the gas. Gas has many molecules, so it has N molecules. Uh, okay? N molecules, has many, many molecules. So, how to do this? How to find the kinetic energy? 
So I always start with the energy, the energy for one degree freedom, energy for one particle, uh, one molecule, and one degree freedom, which is half kT, half kT. So now, how many degree freedom? How many degree freedom? Only the translational part of kinetic energy. Translational has three degree freedom. No matter what kind of uh, gas, yeah, the translational translational kinetic energy only has three degree freedom. So I multiply three, multiply three. Now, is it only for one molecule? No, it is for the whole gas. Whole gas has n molecules. So I multiply n, the total number of molecules. I uh, multiply n. So this is the, my equation. So uh, later on. Uh, it becomes this one multiply and it becomes 3 over 2 nkt. Uh, nkt. Uh, but do we have the total molecules? The big N? Do we have big N? No. Yeah? We, we don't have big N. We have the small n, number of mole. We only have number of mole. So we cannot use nkt. So, uh, yeah? however, nkt can change to nrt. Uh, why? Because both of these, NKT and NRT, both of them, they are the same. They are PV. They are PV. They come from PV. So PV equal to NRT or also equal to NKT. So NRT equal to NKT. So I can change the NKT to NRT. Why I change to NRT? Because I use the number of mole. Yeah? The number of mole is given. Uh, N equal to 2.5. So I use this one, NRT. Instead of NKT. Alright. Okay, so let us um, uh, substitute the information. Uh, 3 over 2 and the number of mole given. Number of mole given is 2.5 mole. Okay, 2.5 mole. And then R, you can find from list of constant the value of R, which is 8.31. And what's the temperature? Uh, the temperature must be in Kelvin. This temperature must be in Kelvin. 283 uh, yeah this temperature because uh only have one single temperature so we must change to kelvin is 283 kelvin is it correct yeah 283 kelvin now uh okay so let's calculate and do what, what do we get let's calculate and what what do we get uh 8.82 Exponent 3 Joule. Yeah? Or you can also write as 8.82 uh, kilojoule. Yeah, that's correct. Okay? Uh, if you still want to use NKT, also never mind. You just, what, have, what you have to do is uh, you find the big N first. Since we already have the number of mole. So the number of mole multiplied by the Avogadro constant. Uh, you take the number of mole, uh, number of mole, 2.5, multiply by the Avogadro constant, uh, 6.02 exponent 23. Uh, then multiply mole and you multiply the number of mole and the Avogadro constant, you will get the total number of molecules, big N. Then you substitute here, multiply uh, NKT. Uh, then you will get the same answer, 8.82 kilojoule. Okay? Now, um, okay, but better still, you just use an RT lah, because since it gives you the number of mole already, so less one job, you just straight away NKT change to an RT. Yeah, because of PB. Just change to an RT, then you straight away substitute and you will, you will get the answer right away. Now, the next is he asked for the average uh, molecular kinetic energy. You see the difference between these two questions? The question A asks for total, but for question B asks for average. What's the difference? What's the difference between total and uh, average? Total means has many molecules, yeah? N molecules. But for the average means uh, in a gas, as average, each molecule possess how much kinetic energy? So, you refer to each molecule. You understand? The average means. 
So the average it means uh, uh you see here, I already read right here. Uh if the question asks for average, average or mean, yeah. Uh sometimes he asks for mean molecular kinetic energy. Uh mean or average. These two has the same meaning. As long as you see this word average or mean, okay, average or mean, it means that he wants the energy for one molecule only. Only one molecule. Because there's average, there is the average kinetic energy for each molecule. Yeah, it means that average means each molecule. So only one molecule. And then uh, another word here is a molecular. Molecular means uh, only one molecule. Okay, kinetic energy of helium. Okay, so um, molecular kinetic energy. So this one not just one the translational kinetic energy, but also include rotational kinetic energy. However, this is a helium gas. Helium gas is uh, still monoatomic. Monoatomic, the degree of freedom is always three. Yeah, always three. So, uh, what I can see from here, the average or mean, it, this word means that refer only to one molecule. And then the degree of freedom is only three because it is a monoatomic helium gas. Okay? Uh, so, the average kinetic energy, you see this symbol, this symbol means average or mean. Uh, you must put the symbol here. Uh, the average kinetic energy. This one is uh, this average kinetic energy only refer to one molecule. Okay. Uh, so we start with um, uh, half kT, which is the energy for one degree freedom in one molecule. So how many degree freedom? It is a monoatomic. Uh, so degree freedom is only three. So you multiply three for degree freedom. And then how many molecule? Uh, because he got the word average. Average means only one molecule. So that's why you multiply one. And you multiply one. And it's one. So uh, after you multiply, you get 3 over 2 kT. Uh, so in the end, you just solve the problem. Uh, it's 3 over 2 times um, 1.38 exponent negative 23 uh, negative 23 and then the temperature must be in kelvin do you have temperature in kelvin yeah 283 kelvin 283 kelvin okay 283 kelvin this one need to be in kelvin huh? the degree celsius you are wrong okay uh 283 kelvin so after that, uh, calculate yeah, calculate the final answer, which is a uh, five point eight six exponent, uh, negative twenty one joule. All right, uh, that. So this is the kinetic energy for one, for one molecule. Okay, uh, helium has only three degree freedom, so that's why the this the value here is 3. Okay, uh, so that's it for this question. Uh, question 6. See you in the next video.